scary. Spillaby's not scary. Uh, Elizabeth is scary. Max scary. Is Max scary? Max is, doesn't scare anyone. He's a nice boy. See? Stop it, you'll fall, Penelope. <laughs> you got to go this way. So here I am again with another DIY special. This is what the cot looked like when I took it apart and I laid it all out in the garden. Um, I needed one side and the two ends, which would then be sawn down. So I need those dangerous looking things, danger tools. Also, here is a little preview of my fantastic cutting skills. And whilst I'm being super thrifty, I decided to use the drawers as underbed storage. It would seem that I'm on a roll. Either sawing is really hard work or I'm just a bit of a pansy. But here we are again to see my amazing skills. Ooh, here's my skills again. Check out that straight line. And here we go again, trying to get a straight line. I'm not actually sure what all these positions are that I get myself into, so I'm pretty sure none of them are safe so please do not do this the way that I am doing it like looking back I'm a bit like what the uh, what on earth am I doing um I feel like we all get the idea that I'm not very good at sawing so I'm just gonna cut to the next bit the head's too small do we have things with bigger heads no <laughs> so can I twist this into the wood what if I screw that in to make the hole, then twist that into the wood? Yeah, yeah but it just kind of gives it a little friction. That will definitely 100% split. So I'm just going to have to make a new hole? Yeah, probably. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's already three holes. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to attaching the headboard piece to the frame, on one side I use what was originally in that hole anyway, so that's the screw and the bolt that came with the cot because um, it's going into the same hole that it was in anyway and then on the other side we just done some decking in our garden so we had a load of decking screws left over it doesn't wobble anymore so <laughs> it'll do you don't look you can get me the other drop <laughs> What? Why? Wow, what's wrong with that drill? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to get the other drill, that drill's fine. No, it won't go in all the way. No. No. Oh, that's going to be really annoying. Do you want me to get it in all the way and then unscrew it and then you can screw it back in? No, because then you'll see. The <laughs> see what? Has it split with the wood? It's gone yeah, but it don't matter. <laughs> it does. It doesn't matter. Right, where's it split? It doesn't matter. <laughs> see? It don't matter. It's a bullet. Because when you when you move your hand, <laughs> no, because when you screw it in all the way, it'll like, won't it? Just, can you do it the rest do, of the way? Do you want me to do it? <laughs> Okay, so round three, trying to get that straight line again. I'm not actually sure why I struggle so much. Like, I was really trying. And then I'm not sure why I decided that chopping off the bits of wood in chunks would be. I'm pretty sure the lines still aren't straight, but um, <laughs> it'll do. So 
yeah, here is her finished bed. It's just really simple, it's really small. It's just something, because without it, it just looked like we'd not bought her a bed. So now it just looks a bit more in place. I've got some ideas. I want to put like acrylic mirrors up on the wall. I've got a cover arriving for the plug. Some last minute baby proofing things. Um, she does have a small gap just on this side because that's just how the mattress kind of, but it's not, I don't think it's a big enough gap for her to fall down. She could probably get a leg down there. Um, but I have got some like spongy stuff that sticks on edges that I'm just going to stick down there just to cushion any little hands or feet that fall down there. Um, yeah, it just, it's still a floor bed. It just has something to sit on now. I'm quite happy with the outcome, I'll be honest. So she is just waking up from her nap in her new floor bed. She's just kind of looking around. She doesn't really know what to do. Her little eyes are peeking. I've baby proofed the room as much as I can at the minute. So that, yeah, the idea of like the Montessori um, idea, idea, is that a word? Oh, I, ideology. So the idea of the Montessori ideology is to let them explore their own surroundings a bit more. So it's meant to help develop their confidence. Yeah? What's your sister doing? Shoot. What's she doing? Shoot. 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 Loud Penelope. <laughs> you alright? Did you get your foot? <laughs> Yeah, don't let her fall off the end of the bed. Dad. Yeah, she'd be sad, wouldn't she?